So what happens if your business can't pay HMRC? Listen, you might be watching this video and your business owes corporation tax. It might owe VAT, might owe pay as you earn. All quite scary things when you're getting letters, phone calls, and perhaps even visits from HMRC enforcement agents. So what do you do if you can't pay HMRC? That's what today's video is about. Now, I'm just going to tell you, first of all, how HMRC will enforce the debts. Because it's as if for like ages, HMRC have just been so nice, so relaxed, so flexible and so friendly. I'm starting to see a bit of a change in the tact. Um, HMRC want their money and they're, they're starting, I think, to, to just tighten the nut a little bit on UK businesses. Well, listen, the first thing that they'll do is if you're late paying, they'll they'll fine you. Um, that can, in most cases, it compounds the problem, doesn't it? I can't pay my VAT. Okay, well, I'm going to fine you 15%. Okay, that doesn't solve the problem, does it? It just puts you further behind the eight ball. Now, in addition to fining you, what they're also going to do, um, they're going to be sending bailiffs out. Um, an enforcement agent might come on your doorstep and the first conversation is always, listen, here's the problem, how are we going to solve it? But if you don't reach an, an amicable solution, the next thing is they're going to levy goods. They're going to look at what the business have and they're going to come back, take them, and if you don't pay what you owe, they're going to auction them. And in most cases, they're going to auction them for pennies in the pounds and you're still going to owe some money. Now, Eventually, if that doesn't work, they are going to issue you something called a winding up petition. There is a video on the channel that will explain about winding up petitions and what you should do about them if you get them. But that's quite frightening because if the revenue serve you with a winding up petition, your business account is going to be frozen in a few days. Um, you're going to get your day in court and if you don't pay them, you're going to get wound up. Business is going to be over. So... Key thing here, there is a method that many, many UK directors use for HMRC. And it's not a good method. It's called the ostrich method. And what they do is they get these letters. Business is bad at the moment. They're stressed out their heads. And they go, you know what's going to fix this? I'm going to bury my head in the sand. And then you might not hear anything off the revenue for a while and then Bang, they're at the doorstep, they're, they're, they're calling at your, your home. It, it's just needless aggravation that you don't need as a business owner. Now, I know that because I've been there. When my business was struggling with debt, I did the ostrich method and it didn't get any better and it got worse. So the thing that you've got to do when you've got HMR series is A, understand your position Continue to make keep your returns up to date. That's really, really important. Even if you're not paying the, the revenue, put the returns in on time. And then speak to them. You've got to reach out and let them know what's going on. Because if you continue to bury your head in the sand, you're just going to get escalated through the system. Eventually, you've got your winding up petition landing on your doorstep. And, and then you snookered. The earlier you reach out to HMRC, the more chances you've got of getting an amicable solution. And if that's just to say, listen, Mr. and Mrs. HMRC, there's no cash in the till this month. I cannot pay you, but I'll check in next month. In most cases, that will hold them off a little bit. Now, I want to talk to you something about a time to pay arrangement. So a time to pay arrangement is where you speak to the revenue and you agree to pay your HMRC arrears over a period of time. Now, that period of time is generally 12 months. They want the money within 12 months. And remember, you're going to be charged interest on a time to pay arrangement. But in the grand scale of things, if it gets you through the woods, it's probably a cost worth paying. Now, in certain circumstances, you're going to, you may be able to negotiate that time to pay arrangement over two years. OK, it's going to be a little bit harder. You might provide more information to the revenue, but you should be able to do it on the phone. Now, 
What's important when you enter into a time to pay arrangement is you enter into one that you're going to be able to keep up with. Because if you enter into one just because it's the easy thing to do and then you fail on it, bang, they're going to be at your door again and HMRC have lost the patience with you. And again, you'll be presented with a winding up petition. So it's important that you agree to something that you can afford to do. And remember, when you're in a time to pay arrangement, you've got to keep up to date with all the other taxes, make sure the returns are in on time and paid on time. Now, sometimes it's like an uphill struggle and a time to pay arrangement over 12 or 24 months, it's not going to be enough to save you. So what are your options then? We might consider something called a company voluntary arrangement. A company voluntary arrangement is where you um, restructure the company's debts over a period of normally five years, um, and you can include the you, you include the revenue in something called a CVA. Or well, sadly, it might be time to look at voluntary liquidation. Voluntary liquidation is where the company's formally closed. All the HMRC arrears that your companies build up are unsecured debts. So it's not you, the director, that owes them. It's the company. And in a liquidation scenario, the debts would be written off. So, listen, I hope you found this helpful. Don't bury your head in the sand. And if you want some guidance on how to speak to HMRC, you want to run your situation by us, listen, we'll have 10 minutes with anybody. Get in touch with us. I hope you found the video helpful and have a great day. Goodbye.